Hi everyone, welcome to Eco Learning Classes. This is Professor Geeta Mahesh. Dear students, today we will be discussing planned accumulation and decumulation of inventories. Before we take up a main concept, first let us understand what is inventory. Inventory is nothing but a physical stock of raw material, semi finished goods, or finished goods maintained by firms for smooth functioning of their economic activities. Inventory, we call it as a stock variable as it is measured at a point of time. Let us assume that if they have warehouse, a firm has warehouse which produces a shirts. Okay, a firm produces shirts which has a warehouse. The first April 2029 at that point of time what are the uh, number of the number of shirts that they kept in the warehouse is 100 then we are measuring the stock maintained by the firm on 1st april 2019 is num 100 shirts it means that we are measuring at point of time. So because of this reason, we call it inventory is a stock variable. Then change in inventory. What do you mean by change in inventory? And why change in inventory? We call it as flow variable. Because change in inventory usually measured over a period of time. As it is measured over a period of time, that is nothing but a opening stock and closing stock. Opening start, that is a, a opening stock is nothing but a the beginning of the year and closing stock is the end of the year. So we are measuring the stock or change in stock over a period of time, that is from 1st April to 31st March, which we call it as a financial year. So what is the financial year? 1st April to 31st March of next year. So here I have taken 19 and 2000. So 1st April 2019 to 31st March 2020, we call it as a financial year for India. As it is measured over a period of time, we call it change in inventory as flow variable. Then what do you mean by investment? Investment is nothing but a addition to the stock of capital for firm. Let us assume that there is a firm which has already has two machines or two capital goods. Now, if it is going to buy third and fourth machine, then this added machines, we call it as investment. What do you mean by inventory? The stock of unsold, finished, semi-finished and raw materials, which a firm carries from one year to next year, we call it as inventory. Inventory is a stock of variable and change in inventory is nothing but the difference between closing stock and opening stock. So the change in inventory we call it as a flow concept. Change in inventory may be a planned or unplanned. Let us discuss planned accumulation and decumulation of inventory. Accumulation is nothing but a increase in the stock of inventory decumulation as already we discussed decrease in the inventory what do you mean by planned accumulation if a firm plan to increase inventory then it is called planned accumulation of inventory what do you mean by decumulation of inventory it means if a firm plan to reduce the stock of inventory, it is called planned decumulation. Let us understand with a, an example. 
Now let us understand what is planned accumulation and decumulation of inventories. Accumulation means accumulating the inventories. That is nothing but a rise in the stock of inventory. We call it as accumulation. What is decumulation means a decrease in the stock of inventory. We call it as decumulation. Now, first let us understand what is planned accumulation and then go, uh, we will go with the uh, planned decumulation of inventory. I will start this with an example. Let us assume there is a firm which is going to produce, there is a firm which is going to produce shirts. Okay, and that firm already maintained 100 shirts in the garden. So, how many shirts already present in the Goda? That is 100 shirts. And now, firm plan. The firm is going to plan that they want to increase. They plan to increase the stock of variable or stock of inventory from 100 to 200. Now, the number of shirts they want to increase from 100 to 200 shirts. So, how many shirts they need to add? 100 more shirts they need to add. How many shirts they have to add? 100 shirts. At the same time, the firm is going to expect demand for this firm's shirt in the market is 1000 shirts. So, the firm is expecting that there may be demand for their shirts which is equal to 1000 shirts. Now, firm want to add 100 shirts to Godan. The firm want to add 100 shirts because they want to increase the stock from 100 to 200. The second thing, they want to supply 1000 shirts in the market because they are expecting 1000 shirts in the market. So, totally how many they are going to produce? Here, they are expecting 1000 shirts demand and they need to add 100 shirts to the godown or to the warehouse. So, 1000 plus 100 is 1100 shirts. So, foam is going to produce 1100 shirts. And produced out of produced 1100 shirts, 1000 shirts will be sent to market and 100 shirts will be sent to warehouse. If they are able to clear the 1000 shirts in the market, that means they expected demand for 1000 and even in the market also there is a demand for 1000 shirts, then the firm is able to clear all the produced shirts of 1000 shirts. Now, the left out is only 100 and they added to warehouse. So, there is an increase in the stock from 100 to 200 shirts. Then this we call it as planned accumulation. Let us have a glance. The present stock in the warehouse is 100. The plan to increase stock is 200 and the expected demand is 1000. Then they are going to produce, how much they are going to undertake a production? 1,100 shirts. The actual demand in the market was 1,000 only. They expected 1,000 shirts demand and actual demand is also 1,000 shirts. And the left out is 100 and that is added to stock. When they added 100 shirts to already existing 100, then there will be 200 stock of shirts in the warehouse. This we call it as planned accumulation. They plan to accumulate 100 more and they are able to accumulate 100 more shirts. This we call it as planned accumulation. Dear students, this is very, very important for four marks planned accumulation and decumulation. So, for that, you have to give the meaning of planned accumulation. 
then you have to explain planned accumulation with a proper example. So in the exam, you have to write, if a firm plan to increase inventory, then it is called planned accumulation of inventory. So if a firm plan to increase inventory, then it is called planned accumulation of inventory. Suppose firm want to rise inventory from 100 shirts to 200 shirts during the expecting, during the year, expecting the supply of 1000 shirts and the firm is okay want to rise inventory from 100 to 200 in the, in the same year they are expecting to supply 1000 shirts during the year because they are expecting 1000 shirts demand in the market so the firm is going to produce 1100 shirts if the sales of firm actually 1100 shirts that means in the market there is a thousand shirts demand and they are able to sell those thousand shirts in the market then 100 shirts will be added as a new stock to the inventory new stock to the inventory then the inventory is increased from 100 to 200 shirts which was planned earlier is called planned accumulation now let us understand planned decumulation what is planned decumulation if firm want to reduce the stock of inventory then that this we call it as planned decumulation that means the firm itself is going to plan to reduce the stock of inventory. Then it is called as planned decumulation. Let us understand this with an example. There is a firm which is going to produce shirts. As already we discussed this one, a firm is going to produce shirts. In the warehouse already firm has 100 shirts now firm planning that means the firm has planned to reduce the shirts from 100 to 25 shirts it want to keep only 25 shirts in the market so how many shirts they need to take out from the warehouse 75 shirts they wanted to take out from the warehouse and at the same time the firm is expected to supply or expected demand in the market is 1000 shirts. So firm is expecting that there may be a 1000 shirts demand. So we need to supply. So according to demand they need to supply. So they are planning to supply 1000 shirts in the market. But already 75 shirts they are going to take out from the warehouse. And they are wanted to supply 1000 shirts means already 75 shirts are ready. Now they need to produce only 925 because 925 plus 75 which they are going to bring from warehouse will be equal to 1000 shirts. And by chance in the market whatever they expected to supply are able to sell or expected demand is equal to actual demand in the market then the firm is able to sell thousand shirts so naturally when they are going to manufacture only 925 shirts but demand is thousand shirts then they need to take out 75 shirts from the warehouse when they take out 75 shirts from the warehouse then definitely left out shirts in the market is just 25 shirts which was planned earlier. So you can see here the present stock is 100 and they plan to reduce or decrease stock from 100 to 25. Expected demand or expected to supply is 1000 
So the production will be 925 shirts will be produced and actual demand is 1000 shirts. Then they are going to deduct 75 shirts from the stock. Then the planned decumulation was 25. Dear students, in the exam, when they ask for planned accumulation and decumulation for four marks, you have to write even this planned decumulation as a second paragraph. It means firm plan to reduce the stock of inventory. It is called planned decumulation. Suppose firm want to reduce inventories from 100 to 25 shirts during the year expecting demand for 1000 shirts then the firm produces 925 shirts in the market if firm is able to sell 1000 shirts as expected then the firm will be left with a 25 shirts this is called planned decumulation of inventory please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much